fundraiser, as I mentioned, their chairman Steve Price joins me now on the phone. Steve, a very good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Well, before we talk about the specific uh, fundraiser, tell us a bit about Inkborough Tennis Club. How, how strong are you? Um, yeah, we're pretty we're pretty strong. We've been uh, we've been going a long time now. We established in uh, 1924, so we'll uh, we're coming up to our centenary in a, in a couple of years' time. We've um, we've got four four courts and with floodlights. Uh, we've got a very active um, uh, coach who uh, runs junior coaching, um, run social and league tennis throughout. Um, you know, uh, we've got teams in um, South Warwickshire leagues and Hereford and Worcester leagues. Um, with the local village school, use our courts for uh, for doing exercise classes because they're just expanding at the moment and they haven't got the the exercise facilities. So we uh, we let them use our use our courts. We've got a we've got the walking footballers um, use the court occasionally as well in the winter to uh, uh, to to keep to keep them active. And um, yeah, we just we've spent probably between eighty and ninety grand in the last um, couple of years um, installing uh, new courts and lights. So uh, we're hoping we're uh, set up quite well for the for the next hundred years. I mean, that's obviously a sizable investment, but at least as you mentioned there, it is being very well used. It is, yes, and we, you know, a, a lot of that investment came from uh, we worked with the, the, the other uh, local sports clubs and um, the parish council to uh, get some money that was available via uh, a building development that was uh, that happened in Inkbar over the last uh, four or five years. So it's the section 106, I think they call it. So we were able to uh, tap in and uh, and use that. So uh, we didn't have to raise all that money ourselves. So in terms of your charity efforts that you're undertaking yeah. at the moment, what have you been getting up to then? Well, what, as, as, the, as, the, as the COVID lockdown started, we were starting to get an increase in uh, inquiries, really. I think people realised if anything was going to survive um, uh, the, the, the pandemic from a sporting perspective, something like outdoor tennis might actually do it. So just as things started to close down, we started to get a few uh, inquiries. But, um, you know, as with everything else, uh, it, it, it turned into a total lockdown. But it always looked as if tennis would be one of the first sports out of the blocks when it got lifted. Um, and so when when May the 11th came, we uh, we you know we were very very keen to get uh, tennis go going again for our members, um, and and we opened up as soon as we could once we'd done the risk assessments and things like that. But we were a little bit concerned maybe that you know we'd we'd open up we could start charging people membership and then there'd be another lockdown and we'd have to pay the money back and we thought oh, no, we, we don't want that so let's just get people playing let's just get people out of their houses and um, allow them to start playing again so we got our members playing uh, very quickly and then we, we realized that you know as, as it was one of the only sports really that could be played locally and in a socially distant you know uh, way that it was a great opportunity to get new uh, new members as well so we opened it up to um, any anybody, any new members in the area. And again, we didn't want to get into the, the trouble of asking for membership and asking to pay and then, you know, how long is it going to be open for? So we just thought, right, if, you, if you'd like to come and play and you're a new, and you're a new person to Inkborough Tennis Club, we, um, we put a, a little link on our, on our court booking system to say, um, make a donation to the, uh, the NHS. So, you know, being inspired by Captain Tom and um, many of the other sort of like village NHS staff, we, we, we set up that Just Giving link. So as people booked courts, they were able to donate money to the um, the NHS Worcester uh, acute, acute hospital um, um, organisation. Well, they so, say, um, they say yeah, Steve, that the... Really uh, well, we've, um, we've raised um, over £500 uh, in the two months we've been open and um, the courts uh, haven't been so, so full in years. It's been quite amazing, really, that um, a lot of people have, have come out and played. Um, and I think because the, the, the family groups have grown a little bit over the, over the last um, sort of like two months, as people come back from the cities into sort of like rural Worcestershire, there's been people, you know, coming back to stay with, you know, the, their extended family and, and looking for exercise. And we've been able to offer, offer facilities um, out to that sort of like group of people as well. And presumably, Steve, you're hoping then um, that from this you'll, you'll retain some of these people who've just come in um, yeah. and the membership will grow even further. Absolutely, yeah. We've 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 got about an, a, an extra thirty-seven people, I think, on our books at the moment. So, yeah, absolutely. The the next challenge. I mean, we've had sort of like five hundred hours of court booking time in in the last um, in the last two months. So, with at least two or four people playing, that's sort of like a thousand to two thousand playing hours being used on our courts. 
which is fantastic. The next challenge, as you say, is to uh, is to keep the interest. Um, and now we've got to start sort of like generating some income to, uh, to to pay the bills because we can't, you know, like any organisation, there are there are bills that have to be paid, and uh, and then we will now start trying to convert those into into paying memberships and um, and um, yeah, try and uh, hopefully and the, the good hopefully the weather will uh, improve a bit <laughs> through the summer now to uh, to keep to keep everybody playing. Well, Steve, great to talk to you. It really is, if you like, a classic example of the simple ideas are often the best ideas, aren't they, really? Because, you know, rather than paying a sub, give a donation, and it's, it's yeah. obviously worked very well. It's, it's been, it's been a, a great success for us, so we're, we're hoping to take that momentum forward now into the, into the rest of the year. Steve, thank you very much for coming on. appreciate your time. Yep. OK, That's thank you very much. Steve Price, chairman of Inkborough Tennis Club there on their charity fundraising efforts in support of the NHS. Well done to everyone involved in that. And here's hoping a lot of those people who have turned up recently for a casual game of tennis will stay with the club for the foreseeable.